All right, guys, Supreme coming here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Welfare Gundam X. So this is uh, what we are presented with here. So not too bad. It's pretty much the same model, uh, the same sprites as the one we have for the standard version. So as far as the overall unit itself, I did upgrade everything to the base by star level 80. I did not apply any marks. And in terms of the programmer, you guys can just kind of see that this is going to be heavily, you know, just from the side alone, it's going to be a very good, a solid shooting base build. So not bad overall. Um, as far as the EX skill wise, we do have the offense of um, Gamma. So this one's going to be boosting melee and shot attack of your squad by 39%. So this one is very good because as far as the standard version, we have a defensive up. I'm not going to say that defensive up is not good it's just that it's not as powerful uh, just because defensive in this game tends to get neglected by a big margin so i rather take any time of day i rather just take an offensive up and call it a day you know so that's that um as for the satellite cannon this one is oh wait 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 what where, where are we looking at wait what so oh okay i did not know this one go up to a s pierce what Okay, so this one is a standard version, right? What about... Hold up. Uh, oh. Okay. Wow, this one is good, huh? S, S piercing? Okay, I, I, I didn't know that. I did not know prior to this recording, I swear. Like, I'm like, what? S piercing? That is crazy. Um, but unfortunately, the power is only C minus, so I don't think we will get too much action out of it. That's the sad part. But okay, so this one's just waiting for the like a proper alteration because the center one has an alteration ready, and that satellite cannon is gonna hit harder because it is gonna be under I believe it's a B power modifier, so it's it's still gonna be performing better. But S piercing, my gosh, that's crazy. All right, stats stat on the head is actually pretty good. Eight K nearly 8k for the shot attack and the defensive is the shot defense is like 5,000 oh my gosh that is a dream this is a dream head part right here okay for a welfare selection that's good uh work head wise eh, not really that impressive we do have power, for power so that's good so lane catch up wise you can get what can you get out of this oh you can get that eh, pro tag I, I, I wouldn't want that right sadly but that's that's pretty positive overall the stat wise so what about this? Oh wow, 3,500 and 5,000 for the defense. This one is good. Uh, this one, uh, unfortunately the portrait is not anything that we have not seen before. Just a re good old revive. So, okay, that's that's fair enough. Um, so that's cool. Um, this version of it has what? Shooting power boosted. So that's better. Looking better on, on that selection. Um, this one here, the arm. Let's see what we do. Wow, even the arm has some pretty good, pretty impressive shot attack, shot defense. I'll, I'll take that. And we get a miniature buff EX skill effects up by 15%. So that's that's something. So we see a lot of very useful portrait already. So that's good. Um, high firepower and then for desert. So what can you expect? What about the leg parts? Leg part wise, okay. The leg part wise is definitely toning it back just a little bit as far as the actual shot attack. Uh, shot defense is still pretty respectable, so I'll give it that. Uh, this Vortex set is actually pretty good. Um, you do have Pendant 5 and then High Fire Power, so that's pretty good. And this one, oh, 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 okay. They're giving us that enemy shooting damage plus 25%. Yes, that is good. We would love to see that. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, man, the Gundam X is actually looking fairly good. And in the back part, we kind of take a look at it already. But these stats, like what are those? Like almost 3,000, not nearly, but closing in. And 5,000 for the shot defense, my gosh. Same with tag as the legs and then EX skill, uh, S piercing and C minus power. So I am going to be taking a look into it at the multi-mission boss, uh, the Bucletia. Um, If we don't take it out, that's, that's fine. Um, I just want to simply gauge how much damage we can do. So that's that. And then moving over to the uh, large beam saber or the beam sword they call it oh okay not too shabby for the melee attack and you know just a teeny tiny bit of shot defense okay uh portrait not gonna be good not even gonna talk about that <laughs> and what do we have here 
Uh, baby Peggy some pretty good shot attack, put some shot defense, I'll definitely take that. Sigward tag is the one we have seen already, high guard power, and then for desert. As far as the portrait wise, this one is geared towards an outfitter as in, in terms of activating it. So I'm just gonna call this one situational just because in a normal circumstances you wouldn't really be using outfitter on a shooting base build as for air pilots. You will pretty much be using, let's say, uh, middle shooter job license or even the long shooter job license. So this one is not bad. It, it, the, the effects is pretty good, right? It, it's just a condition. I, I just can't wrap my head around like, oh, um, in Outfighter being in shooting boobs. But it, it works. Uh, it, it definitely works. Um, so this one, I'm just going to give you a situational. Um, it's not bad. So. Uh, it's just the usefulness of it is not gonna be as high as if this one is like a strictly Let's say middle shooter or long shooter condition wise, but it's, it's still pretty positive that they're giving us a plenty of good portrait lip selection out of this one single welfare and good stats so like what can we complain, complain about right? So that's good. So let's do put this onto your skin. I am going to be putting I'm going to be putting on, on this one here um, I'm gonna replace the build that I had underneath this one, and then we'll be talking about you know some pretty good stats. So this build you guys have pretty much seen already, and then we will go from there. All right, so we are here. So let's see. I'm not gonna be uh, busting out that cell I can yet. I'm gonna wait until it's like right there after the this, and now I can do it. Okay. So yeah, the animation wise is definitely for sure there, but it's just, oh, we did take it out, but we don't have any of the EX skill to pair that out with, but that's impressive uh, because I did buff it up, so that's why we were able to do it. But uh, as far as this EX skill, it does have some pretty good aesthetics to it, so that is definitely no complaints, but overall pretty good. So the first wave of Reflesia roughly has about, I want to say 20 million damage, and that proves to show that this one is able to exceed maybe 20 million damage so that's actually pretty good so not bad um i think this is definitely pretty good so i guess since this one is pretty short i will be hopping into a friend battle and in, in terms of the friend battle i'm not gonna be buffing up so we will see the natural c power within this build and you know we'll just kind of see what we can get all right so we are in for the friend battle so the only thing i'll be using is going to be the limit break and then the limit skill self so let's see <clears throat> Man, that animation never fails me. And we have Afrain. Yep, we one shot at the enemy because the CX skill still does work. So not no complaints on that one. No complaints at all. Alright guys, with that being said, that is gonna be pretty much it as for the Gundam X review. So under this build, we were able to perform very, very well in the Replacia because this one having an S2 scene for the value is actually pretty good. Because if you guys do not know, Replacia has a very high beam resistance, so this one just being able to penetrate through whatever beam resistance we're talking about is definitely really good. I don't know how true that could could be held per se, but definitely doing works out there with the buff. But overall, pretty good. Uh, Parts trade, we were presented with a lot of good free to play options. So if you guys do need some good parts for a shooting base build, I feel like Gundam X right here can definitely help you guys out. So with that being said, that's going to be pretty much it. And then I'll be catching you all on the next one.